Hello and welcome to my Jasper AI tutorial. Here I'm gonna give you a guided walkthrough of some of the content creation features, or at least some of the most popular ones. So this is gonna be great for two types of individuals. Say if you just got Jasper and you're curious about how it works, this is gonna be perfect. Along with someone maybe you haven't gotten to check out Jasper and maybe you wanna see how they work or just follow along. For both of you, you can utilize the link down below, whether you wanna log in or just try Jasper and get a free trial. So that's the basics. Let's begin and the first thing I wanna talk about about is going to be the Jasper AI brand voice. This is a newer feature and I think it's very important because it allows you to create content that's going to reflect your voice or your brand overall and have it be consistent with all the content creation that we're going to be doing. So allow me to show you how to quickly do this. Here we have brand voice as it says new based upon when I'm creating this. And your brand voice enables Jasper to access info unique to what you're writing, as well as your specific tones and styles. So I had one before, I just deleted it so I can show you how to create it. Let's click on add voice. All right, and here you can either use a URL. So if you have an article that really identifies what your voice is, sounds just like you, you can use that. But for this, I'm just going to use text and I'm going to paste it in. I already did it just to save some time. Anyway, a very quick statement about YouTube. Something I want to give you in terms of a tip here is try to use some phrases that you might use more often. Uh, the more I guess you could say input that you put in, the better. I only put around 500 characters out of 2000, so you could definitely squeeze in more if needed. But for me personally, like I like coming off as confident, fact-driven, uh, straight to the point, maybe funny here and there, excited. Those are the types of vibes I'm going for. So if you know how you speak or what your brand voice sounds like, keep that in mind when you're putting in an example or finding an example from a URL. So we have that there. Let's click on continue. It's going to analyze it. And once that's done, I'll get back to you and we'll talk about it. All right, so here we have, it says modify your tone. Here's what Jasper has learned about your voice. The style guide emphasizes a confident, persuasive, and humorous tone utilizing rhetorical questions, repetition, statistical evidence, inclusive language, calls to action, and humor to engage readers and promote YouTube as a relevant marketing platform. Okay, so that is perfect. That's exactly what I pretty much mentioned in terms of having some humor every now and then, confidence, fact-driven, uh, and so on and so forth. I think that's great. I'm just going to name it James. Obviously, name it whatever you want. You can name it James after me if you want. That'll be cool. You can make it default for all of your campaigns if you want. Yeah, I'll show you how to switch it on and off. So I'm just going to keep that unchecked and let's create voice. So now that we've done that, I'm going to hop on over to the templates. There's a lot of them and it's great if you want to just create specific sections of content. So let's do that. I'm going to find one and I'll show you how to utilize your brand voice and create some content. All right. So here are going to be some templates. We have a lot of them in here. I'm not going to go too crazy with this, but once you know how to use one, you pretty much know how to use all of them. I love the paragraph generator just because it's great at say like, mm, I need this intro. I need this paragraph. I need this bullet point, whatever it's going to be. But for this example, I'm going to go with the AIDA framework. This is great for copywriting in case you want to just get attention. Uh, build up interest, desire, and of course, call to action. You can use these on like Facebook ads. Heck, you can use the AIDA framework just about anywhere, but let's click on this and I'll show you how it works. All right, so as with all the templates, just about all of them that I can think of, the good stuff is gonna be on the left that you need to fill in. Usually not too much going on here unless you're doing like the long VSL one, which has plenty more uh, options for you to enter in information. Of course, once you're done, the answers are gonna be right here on the prompts. So here I'm just gonna use Jasper to talk about Jasper as an example. Okay, so we're using Jasper to talk about Jasper. I have a product description here, of course. You could always do this for a company as well. And for tone of voice, this is how we're gonna change it. So right here, we have our saved one, which is gonna be James. And if you didn't wanna do that, here are some examples that they have. Conversational, informative, humorous, excited. You, know, you could do like sad or slow or you know, something like that where you slow it down and just not as excited. You know, that type of voice if you wanna go that route, but let's click on the uh, one we created right here. So this is gonna be the amount you wanna generate at once. I'll just go with two. The fact that they have unlimited content is great. So you could do a lot. Just keep in mind, the more you do, you can just have to wait a little longer for it to generate that content. I like what we have here. Let's click on generate. And when we're done, we'll check it out. All right, so the first one. Uh, keep in mind, this is also a framework. I think I talked about it before with copywriting. This has been around for so long and that's what makes it so good. Not only has it stood the test of time that a lot of marketers use it, but you can use it on a lot of different platforms. Like I said, whether it's a Facebook ad, you know, whether you want to use an emails, landing pages, websites, whatever it's going to be. But here it is. Let me read this for you very quickly. The other one is going to be down there. I'll just read the top one so we don't spend too much time. So I'll read it as if it was me talking because I am talking because it's my brand voice, if that makes sense. Are you looking for an easy way to create AI content that will impress your customers? At Jasper AI, we make it effortless. Just so you know, this is not my product. I'm just reading it how it says that. Okay. Just want to let you know that. We make it effortless to generate copywriting and other forms of content so that your brand can stay consistent across almost any platform. 
Our revolutionary technology allows you to quickly turn ideas into captivating AI-powered content with confidence and accuracy. We understand the importance of being able to craft engaging stories in a timely manner because time is money. With our unique program, you don't need a creative team or expensive software subscriptions anymore. You can have confidence in knowing that all your marketing efforts are supported by superior quality results guaranteed from Jasper.ai. I think I would have added like a comma somewhere in there, but just throwing that in there. Click this ad right now and try out our free trial. Unleash the power of AI-driven automation today. So pretty good overall. That's just an example of utilizing templates, and there's so many of them. There's a lot of great ones. Really check those out, but that's going to be the basics when it comes to utilizing templates and, of course, adding in your tone of voice. Next, let's hop over to chat. Very easy to use. This is pretty much just asking Jasper or telling it to do anything you want. First thing that comes to the top of your mind. Anyway, that's going to be on the left side. Let's click this here. And if you'll notice, there's going to be two options. We have speed or we have quality. So choose speed to get faster results from Jasper and choose quality to get better reasoning from Jasper. I don't know about you, but I'm all about that quality. Given the fact that I'm doing a video, I can always just stop it and go forward. So it's not a big deal for this. But one thing I do want to bring up, we have our brand voice right here and you'll notice James, here we are, apply to chat. So now when we create content, it's going to be in my voice or of course your brand voice when you're doing it as well. Give me one second and we'll just get back to this and see what we get. All right, so give me a few reasons as to why more online businesses need to be using YouTube. You can pretty much type in almost anything here. I do want to give you a few tips here. Anytime you're using any type of chat software, I would recommend just think that you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone, and that person that you're speaking to knows just about anything there is to know about everything. They know a whole lot more than you. So if you start asking questions, what you can do is just keep peeling the onion, as I say, and keep asking more questions until you get exactly what you need. So you could start off here, whether it's just you know, give me this, or if you want to ask questions and then dive deeper, it's just the possibilities are kind of endless. And that's always a good thing, right? So feel free to type something in there, whether it be a statement, give me content or questions. We have this, I'm going to click on send and I will be back once it's done. All right. So the quality with it being higher will take a little bit longer, but that's completely fine. Like you didn't have to wait through that, which is good. But just looking at this and reading it, I, it's great because I can read this and say, this truly sounds like something I would say. I'm just going to read a little bit of it and then I'll kind of skip through. So, oh, the wonders of YouTube. Are you ready to dive into the world of endless opportunities for your online business? If not, let me give you a few compelling reasons why more online businesses need to be using YouTube. And trust me, once you start, there's no turning back. First off, who doesn't love videos? From cute cat compilations to mouthwatering cooking tutorials, YouTube has it all. But yet, have you ever considered how powerful this platform could be for your business? With over 2 billion logged in monthly users, it's time to stop ignoring the potential goldmine that is YouTube. Need more convincing? Talking about exposure, building trust and credibility, SEO benefits galore, say hello to higher conversion rates, the social media butterfly effect. And of course, I'm just going to give you one more example about how you can continue on from here. So say you wanted to talk more about SEO benefits galore. Okay, so I put, give me some examples about how you can benefit from SEO using YouTube. Okay, for this one, I'm just going to go with speed. Of course, I'm still going to hit send and when I'm done, I'll come back, but let's do that. All right, so we got a good amount of content and that was so much quicker, but talking about the basics here, optimizing to rank higher. So how can you benefit? Um, video content has a better chance of ranking higher on Google than any other types of content by optimizing for it. Uh, provides valuable analytics and metrics, allowing you to track it. Uh, let's see, is by building backlinks to your website. Uh, let's not forget about the power of social media. So there you have it. Okay, so a few examples there. Probably could have got it to dive a little bit deeper, at least be a little bit more specific. But that's kind of the example of using Jasper Chat, where once you go down and ask a certain question, you could obviously ask more questions about it or create more content about this. So for example, if this was our main, say this was like an outline for an article, what we could do is write more about this specific section, right? And we can write more about this specific section, really build upon this where you could actually make this into a video itself. Itself. Speaking of that, what I'm going to do is show you how to write with long form content. And in the example I'm going to use, I'm just going to show you how you can use that content to create a video script. Okay. So let's hop on over there and I will see you in one second. All right. So here we are when it comes to the document editor, as I talked about, this is going to be used to create, say, a longer form article. But in this specific scenario, I want it to be a video script. What I also like about this is that you combine it with a power mode. So you can use SEO mode, uh, chat mode, or of course, power mode. With power mode, you can combine a lot of the templates that you have and pretty much just take that content and move it on over. So I'll do some of that and I'll use some of the actual document editor here just to give you an idea about how it works. So with this, let me come up with a just an article. What it's going to be about and then we'll go from there.
All right, so there we go. Very quickly, YouTube marketing versus TikTok marketing, which is better? Remember, tone of voice. There we go. Let's go with James. This is going to be the one where you want to add that in. Keywords, you know, that's going to be up to you. Output length. I like going with longer. If it gets too long, you can just remove some. Or if it's too short, you can always add more. But I feel like it's just good with that. So here's how to write a command, as it says in the background. Um, talk to Jasper as you would to an assistant writing. And then place your cursor at the end of the sentence and you know, press either this and enter or control and enter. So that's what I'm going to do here. And the first thing we want to create is going to be an outline. So let's tell Jasper exactly what we need. All right. So write an outline for me for a YouTube video script called YouTube marketing versus TikTok marketing, which is better. So for me, it's going to be holding control and hitting enter. And what I'm going to do is just keep this going right here. You're going to see everything going through. We have our intro advantages of both of those. And of course, conclusion and summary of key points. So what you can actually do is just go through and create content for each of these sections. This is something that I've done. You can do just with templates alone. And in case you're having trouble with their editor, the good thing about it is that they do have a lot of, let's see, I think it's right here. So how to use it, but they also have the uh, short codes here where it tells you how to, uh, where are they? Cute. There we go. So right next sentence, you can run a Jasper command. You can run a Jasper command and keep the command in place or rerun the last generation to try for better. You have undo changes. You know, overall, these are going to be the most important ones. That's the one that I just did right here, run a Jasper command. So anytime you want to tell it to write something, that's what you can pretty much do. So those will be there in case you need to look those over. Like I said, it's going to be different based upon the computer that you have. Let me just change this around. It actually looks pretty good if you ask me. If we're doing a YouTube script, it doesn't need to be too long. So, all right, so now what I wanna do is just utilize the commands one more time, and then I'll switch on over to the power mode where I can show you how to kind of toggle between back and forth just to make your life a little bit easier. So we have our introduction here, so I'm just gonna write a little bit more. Write an introduction for an overview of YouTube and TikTok marketing. All right, so write an introduction for an overview of YouTube versus TikTok marketing, asking which one is better. So I'm going to hold control and hit enter, and let's see what we get. All right, great. So also what we can do is retry last output. We can do poor, we can do useful, or continue writing. But this is a short little intro. Are you trying to decide which marketing platform is best for your business? In this video, remember, we were creating a script, so it picked up on that, a good thing. We're going to talk about how you can make an informed decision and so on and so forth. So as you can see, if you're going to go through, all you really need to do is tell Jasper, what do you want to do? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you want to retry it? Do you want to add more? Those are going to be a lot of the extra things that you can do. Now let's combine that with the power of power mode. So let's do paragraph. So we have paragraph generator. And what I want to do is just simply put this here. Uh, we don't have to include any keywords. There. That's fine. Let's go with James. And that should do. Let's do generate AI content. All right, so after scrolling down, here is the content that we have. So when it comes to marketing your brand or product, it can be a game changer, talking about how there's two billions plus high engaging. However, there's going to be the disadvantages as creating videos can be time consuming, the algorithm is changing, and so on and so forth. So we can paste at document cursor. What we can do is put our cursor right here, and let's paste it in. And just like that, we have that. How cool is that, right? So it's just another easier way instead of saying like, you know, uh, talk about the advantages and disadvantages of TikTok marketing. So now we can actually do the same. We can go on over here. That's why I love the paragraph generator, because many times when you're doing scripts or articles, whatever it may be, blog posts, you're probably going to be writing paragraphs. So to be able to write a good amount of content at once in terms of a few sentences, I think it's just something that you use very often. That's why I like it so much. So let's generate that content. And let's scroll down a little. So it's taking the world by storm. It's huge user base. Uh, there's significant advantages creating content. However, it does come with its own set of challenges. The 60 second video format can be too brief for some, but with the right approach, there's plenty of advantages and so on and so forth. Okay. Let's head that over there. I'm going to bold this. Remember, this is going to be like a video script too. So it could be a blog post. It could be a video script, but just kind of showing you that you can do that. So examples of successful campaigns on both platforms. That one might be a little bit harder to do. That's more of like a case study thing. So just given the fact we have that, I'd probably change that around for this example. So uh, examples. So let's change it around a little bit more. So what I would do is do like how you can succeed using YouTube for marketing. And I do the same thing. How to succeed, you know, using TikTok. 
And for this, let's just go back to the focus mode and write about how you can succeed using YouTube for marketing. So that's, I'm just gonna copy that. And let's do the same thing, control and enter. Okay, so we have three paragraphs there, not bad. So that's also a good thing. If you are gonna be using more of the document editor, you can generate a little bit more content at once. So uh, this one I just skipped, oops. <laughs> but this would be like the headline, like how to succeed with YouTube, something like that. Uh, I'm just gonna bold it. You can make it a headline too if you want. I'm just gonna bold it for now though. Just kind of quickly glancing over it. Consistency, of course, uh, social media platforms, and the same thing. Let's do this. I'm gonna bold this. And let's do the same thing, control and enter. All right, so I'm just gonna put the headline back in there. That's our previous one, and I'm gonna change this over. So how to succeed with TikTok. Uh, this talks about what you can utilize here. It's features, let's see, duets and reels, and finally, and so on and so forth. All right, so we have tips for creating an effective strategy for YouTube and TikTok. What I'm gonna do, once again, control and enter. All right, so I'm just gonna go up and bold this so we know what we have written here. So this is just tips for this. Uh, first and foremost is to create engaging content, to use relevant keywords and titles, descriptions, uh, important for visuals, then finally, talking about utilizing various features, commenting sections, likes, dislikes, feedback, and so on and so forth. And right now we have 1,105 words. Like I said, this would be a video script. Okay, now we have conclusion, summary of key points, and pick a winner when it comes to YouTube versus TikTok marketing. Okay, so that's what we want to do here. So what we can do, once again, last but not least, hold control and hit enter. Good one, Jasper. Way to be middle of the road. Actually, I agree with it, though. I like it when it does that. It's like, you know, people will say, what's the best platform, YouTube or TikTok? And it's usually just not like the best one. There are reasons why you might want to use A and there's reasons why you might want to use B. I do this all the time when I'm talking about software and it helps you get a much better answer. So I kind of like what they did here. Anyway, it talks about both of them having unique features that can be leveraged for maximum visibility. However, if you're looking for a more engaging experience with younger demographics, then TikTok could be the better choice. On the other hand, YouTube is still an excellent option for businesses who want to create sophisticated videos or longer form content as part of their overall digital strategy. And I think that's a very good conclusion because if you fit into someone who wants to do, you know, more of those <clears throat> more engaging, like viral videos type of thing with better chances of going viral, like TikTok might be your thing. But if you're like me and you love doing tutorials over the shoulder, things like this, then YouTube's going to be good. But but anyway, that should conclude my Jasper AI tutorial when it comes to content creation and multiple ways of doing it. And don't forget about that brand voice. We saw it all throughout all of these examples. I think it works just perfectly, especially when you really dial it in. You might have to do it a few times, but once you get it right, it's kind of going to be surprising when you read this content and go, well, that kind of does sound like me now that I think of it. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I understand that with the document editor, there's so many routes you can go in terms of creating content, but I wanted to go back and forth in terms of using some of the templates, using the free form editor. You know, it's really going to be up to you as long as you know exactly what you need to create and you're cool with telling Jasper how to create that you're gonna be pretty much most of the way there. You know, having that idea in mind is really gonna help you because then you don't have to go to it just staring at that blank screen. You'll know exactly what you need to create. And for example, when you have a keyword that you need to create a video or a blog post about, it's just gonna be much easier. And that's what I recommend to you. If you haven't gotten to test out Jasper, I will leave my link down below for your free trial so you can test out a lot of these features. They're great, the quality is excellent, and I can't recommend them enough. That's about it. My name is James, and I will see you in my next video.